saying the sentence, I don't want enemies, feels impossible. And in a very real sense, it kind of is. Like meaning, I, I, I don't have complete control in that. I don't have 100% say in how you're gonna view me or how you're gonna respond to me or if you're gonna hate me. But here's what I can control. I can control my response. I can control if I'm gonna view you the same way. And I know that's true. And I would imagine a lot of us today, like you know that's true, but I get this wrong so, so often. I'll tell you this story. A, 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 couple, a couple months ago, actually, we had some neighbors move into our neighborhood. And I'm not proud of this story. Uh, but we had some neighbors moving in the neighborhood and I was excited to meet them. I was like, oh, come on, like some new people. Can't wait to introduce myself, get to know them a little bit, uh, have them over for dinner, drink, hang out a little bit, maybe invite them to Flatirons. That'd be great. I think Jim like recently preached a message on like loving your neighbor. I was like, come on, let's do this, let's do this. And within a week, within a week of this, I'm walking out, I'm going to grab some mail and, and I'm walking back into my house and I noticed something on their car that reminds me, I don't know how much we have in common. And just that quickly, right, just that quickly, I was able to write somebody off based off of something that I don't even know 100% to be true. I don't even know if it's 100% what they stand for. Like, I'm just like, I don't think we're gonna agree. I don't know, like, I don't know if we're gonna have a friendship. I don't know if they're gonna wanna talk to me. And just that quickly, I was able to write somebody 